कंडीशन फॉर ऑसिलेशन और लिविंग द सर्कुलर मोशन कंडीशन फॉर ऑसिलेशन लिविंग द वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन If velocity of a body lo uh, at lowest point is lesser than 2.5 gr, if velocity of a body at lowest point is is lesser than root 5 gr. the particle will not complete the circle in vertical plane in vertical plane in this case the motion of uh, the point mass which depend on whether tension becomes zero before speed becomes zero or vice versa and uh in this case the body will execute the oscillatory motion now come to the next point simple harmonic motion periodic motion is divided into parts one is uh, circular or elliptical and another is harmonic motion second part is harmonic motion harmonic uh, uh, means harmonic means oscillatory motion and there are two types of oscillatory motion one is uh, oscillatory motion linear uh, oscillatory motion linear simple harmonic motion or we can say the angular oscillatory motion so first of all the simple harmonic motion is the periodic motion the motion of the body in which it repeats its path in the fixed time interval is called periodic or harmonic motion it is divided into two parts one is circular another is oscillatory motion सर्कुलर मोशन हम पढ़ चुके हैं ऑसिलेटरी हम पढ़ेंगे देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑसिलेटरी मोशन लीनियर सिंपल हार्मोनिक एंड एंगुलर सिंपल हार्मोनिक नाउ ऑसिलेटरी मोशन इज टू एंड फ्रो टाइप ऑफ मोशन इज कॉल्ड ऑसिलेटरी मोशन टू एंड फ्रो टाइप ऑफ मोशन इज कॉल्ड oscillatory motion or we can say the motion in which repeats in which body repeat its linear path or on the arc of the circle is called oscillatory motion either it is linear path or on the arc of the circle first of all the simple harmonic motion equation of simple harmonic motion equation of simple harmonic motion this is rigid wall 
a spring is attached from the rigid ball this is the body of mass m when is it stretched it executes the simple harmonic motion this is the mean position of the spring it goes up to this position and come back to the mean position again then again this executes the simple harmonic motion and in this position the force restoring force always towards the mean position and here also f is towards mean position while the displacement always opposite to the force direction of displacement is this again here the direction of displacement when spring is compressed and stretch in both the condition this uh, restoring force always towards mean position this is mean position this is extreme position this is also extreme position in this case the restoring force always proportional to the displacement from mean position the restoring force always proportional to the displacement from mean position here k is the spring constant and f is proportional to minus x because x and f are opposite to each other negative sign shows that f and x are opposite to each other and here f is equal to minus k x and k is the spring constant we know that let m is the mass of the block m is the mass of the block and a is acceleration then force f will be equal to mass into acceleration and from first and second we can write m into a is equal to minus k x and a is equal to minus k by m x and a is equal to minus omega square x where omega is angular frequency and omega will be equal to k by m we know that a is d2x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x or d2x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 is called the equation of simple harmonic motion it is called equation of it is also called differential equation differential equation of simple harmonic we can calculate the time time period Time required to complete one oscillation required to complete one 
oscillation or it is t is equal to 2 pi by omega angle by velocity angular displacement by velocity is equal to 2 pi root k by m So that t is equal to 2 pi root m by k. This will be the time period of oscillatory motion.